Senator Ademola Adeleke has been declared the winner of the governorship primary elections of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Oshun State, held at Yoshobo City Stadium. Similarly, Sir Prince Dotun Babayemi emerged winner of a parallel exercise held also in the state capital. Declaring the results of the exercise held at the stadium by also state deputy governor who led the party's National Congress Committee, Senator Lawrence Ewuru Jakbo, said Senator Demola polled 1,887 votes to emerge the winner, while Mr. Sanya Omeri scored four votes. By the powers conferred on me as the chief returning officer of these Gubantela primaries, we hereby collectively declare Adeleke, Ademola, judge as the winner of the Gubantela primaries for PDP. And all them to allow us to work together as one big family. No victor, no vanquished. We are all winners. As the chief returning officer, I duly pronounce Prince Dr. Baba Emi as the winner of this election. God bless you. I am confident that on July 16th, today I will be emerging as the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party for the governorship election on July 16th. And on July 16th, we are sure that we will be victorious in that election. We have our chairman here, and we are acting in line with the uh, constitution of the party. If others are entering bush, it doesn't mean that everybody should follow them into the bush. That's all. Although there are guidelines, directives, that can come from the national headquarters, but all these directives and their guidelines are subject to the provision of the constitution itself. Once again, we're being joined by Ola Bamiji Ola Dele, Director of Media, People's Democratic Party of Shun State. Um, can you tell us exactly why there were two primaries or what even led to the faction within the party in Oshun State? Yeah. Uh Good evening, Nigerians. Uh, good evening, uh, plus, TV, uh, plus TV. Um, you know, uh, uh, TDP as a party, uh, we are the benchmark or a kind of signpost uh, for democracy in Nigeria. Uh, we, we try to do our things in such a way as to, to set the pace for our democracy and advance it to where it should be. Um, as far as our, our party rules, guidelines, and laws are concerned, uh, our, uh, some of our elders who felt perhaps they have uh, other uh, standpoints or different uh, film points from uh, the rest of the party, or especially the overwhelming majority uh, members of the party, uh, uh, yes, we, we want to give it to them that they are elders of the party, but uh, as a democratic organization, as, as a democratic party, uh, what we saw yesterday at the Oshobo Township Stadium was that uh, was, was that uh, Senator uh, Ademola Jackson Norudin Nadeliki uh, is the is the is the overwhelming choice of our people, and as as a democratic party, you have to listen, you have to submit to to the we to the wishes to the to the dictates of the majority of members of the party. Yes. Uh, like uh, one of our elders I, I, I just saw here, uh, former Governor Lagun Suyo uh, Yes, it's, it's, it's a very, it's, it's a shiny light, it's a big fish in the PDP. But the fact remains that when it comes to voting, my dear sister, when it comes to voting, it can, it, it, the laws of our land, the laws of our land has, uh, have not conferred on him any privilege. Of footing twice or thrice or four times because he was a former governor. He can only foot once. And that is what democracy is all about. So when they were, apart from our party members, we are also, also listening to the cries and yearnings and 
demands of the good people of Osun State, who are the people, who are the people we are going to present our but candidates how, how to as a party? How can you be a Democratic Party? I mean, you, in one breath, you're saying that, oh, the people who are in the faction should yield. But in another breath, you're also saying that you're listening to the yearnings of the people in your state. How can your people yes. take you serious if you're your internal democracy is in shambles. I mean, you're talking about an overwhelming majority, but we saw a crowd also at the parallel primaries. I mean, it doesn't look like a house that seems to be together. How do you even, where do you even start from? It seems like the National definitely has recognized um, um, the, the, the party candidate who um, the deputy governor was the returning officer for, but... How do you also get the other aggrieved members to be on the same page? Because this is why we're having this conversation in the first place. Yes. Uh, part of what we, we do in, in, in politics, in PDP, is a uh, beauty of democracy. Yes, we, we, we respect the views of uh, some of our elders and uh, party chieftains. But uh, what I'm telling you is that we cannot subvert the, the real tenet the uh, demands of democracy. When when majority of our members are saying something, we have to listen to them. We have to this uh, going by you know pedigree, past relationship, and what the name Adeleke in the polity of the state connotes. We cannot we cannot as a party neglect that and say oh because we want to please some of our. Uh, some of our own elders, because in the long run, in the long run, it is these people that will vote for us. It is the same people we expect to vote for us. And that's why I said we are also listening to what the general public, the general population of Washington State. But being uh, that as it may, we, 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 we are not for going, we are not for closing, we are not for closing the the uh, window of reconciliation. Yes, the some of these people they are our fathers. We see them as our fathers. We will still go to them because apart from being chieftains of PDP, they are also critical critical stakeholders in the affairs in the project of Russian states. And, and, and we want we also want them to 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 know that they, we should they should look back tomorrow. I mean, to, tomorrow in court, and say that the actions today, the actions today does not, uh, do not give a proof to, to perpe you know, perpetuating suffering, perpetuating looting, which is, which APC connotes in our state today. So, uh, I, 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 we also, as you, like my, myself now, I, I, I also want, to, I don't want my former governor, who served this state with, with his dark ears. Now he's going green ears. I don't want him to look back tomorrow and, and regret even his actions today. That, oh, as a prince, Prince Oyelola, for instance, is a prince in this state. A, 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 a well-pronounced prince of Okuku. Okuku is one of the most, uh, those traditional uh, community in Russian state. I don't want him to look, to, to, to look back Okay. And, and tomorrow, I'm going to shed tears that his actions today uh, 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 go a long way in perpetuating suffering okay. for his own people, for the budding generation. I want to bring so you we are, back. We are not I, what, I'm saying, okay. what I'm saying is that we are not foreclosing reconciliation. We will still meet at the round table as members of the same family, as members of the same political uh, family. We will sit around, we will meet. All, all contending forces, all contending, you know, interests. It is, it is a stage, and that stage uh, has passed yesterday. From today, we have, we have stepped into another, an, another phase. And this, this our era. They understand the logic. They, they understand the language. They know that they just have to listen to. Us. As I'm speaking, they are, I'm, I'm one of their subjects. They have to listen to me too. Because they, they will not, they, 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 they cannot say, oh, because uh, there are others, we must destroy your life. I'm curious. I, I'm I, curious as, person, as to I why, I'm sorry, I'm curious as to why the PDP seems to go with Anadeleke, because you've, you've tried to 
um, speak glowingly about him and saying that, oh, he's a name in the state. I'm guessing that that's what the other faction will say about the candidate that they chose. But is the PDP choosing the Adele K because of his name or the family that he comes from? Or are they picking him as a viable candidate to oppose whoever is in the opposition party? Is he going to be a candidate that is formidable enough to get that ticket and be governor as opposed to just somebody who has friends in high places? Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, that, that's part of what I've been saying. Uh, part of the reasons our members are held on uh, on the choice of uh, Senator uh, Ademola Jackson Nurudin Adelike is that uh, is that viability. We don't just want to put anybody forward and begin to run a better skater on how we are going to win. If you are consistent with the politics of Ocean State, the name Adelike, that family, that name alone, that name alone in, in, in the affairs of Ocean State is, is a very big thing. It's a very big thing. And you know, it, it's a kind of name that uh, uh, that has benefited immensely. Is, many, it, is it about the name many, or about the, the person? All, all the geopolitical son is the state. Mr. 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 Ladele, is it about the, the name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hang on. Is it really about the name? Because you keep going on about the name of the man. I, I mean, all well and dandy, but... Is it about the name? How do you pick? Is the PDP picking these candidates based on sentiments or based on their capability to deliver in the office? Because all you've given me tonight is the fact that this man is a name that needs to be reckoned with. But does he have the ca characteristics, the capabilities of leading the people of Oshun State to where they want to go to? Yes, uh, uh, Senator. Uh, Ademola Adeliki is a member of our party, and as a, as a political party, we are also we have also sat down, we have we have we have done our own work to to be convinced, to be convinced enough, not just only him, just not not just about him alone. We have we have we have studied all of our aspirants, including this senator Ademola Adeliki, and we have also come to the conclusion that. This man will best serve the interests, not just of our party, but the interests of the good people of the general field of Osho State. I'm not trying to play around about name, but we, as a party, we should also be mindful of who we put forward that can battle. We are facing an incumbent government, for God's sake. We, we cannot we cannot be playing to the gallery unless we, we just want to disappoint our people in the state. We must put forward our best hand. We have studied him with his pedigree. We have served as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and we know what he did in that of him. Just within a, 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 a little less than two years, today, many of those who he, he, he granted 250 million worth of uh, scholarship, they are graduating today. This, this, this is a family, this is a name, this someone is the political head of that family today. If, okay. if, if, so if anybody wants to say that, oh, it is not him, uh, if he has advised the family that it was not necessary to grant indigent students of also states, okay. the 250 million worth of scholarship, he will not do that. The, okay. the family will not do it. Okay. He will not do it. So we have, we have, we have studied him. We have, we have done every of what you expect of, of, of his family, of, of his political family, and we know, okay. we know for sure that he will best serve the interests of our people in Russian state. All right, Mr. Ladele, I'm hoping that uh, you'll be able to get me the senator so that he can tell me himself what plans he has for the people of Russian state. Can you guarantee that? Thank you. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you for your, for, for your support. We thank you. Uh, All right. Thank you very much, uh, Lab Bamiji Oladele, Director of Media, PDP Oshun State. Thank you so much for speaking with us. And that's the size of the show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow on Plus Politics Talking for Developments.